Hi and welcome back to our blog. My name is Jim Cuervo and I am your Senior Instructor with Digital Drafting Systems. Today's topic is creating a simple custom line type using Revit. The line type name will be Cutting Plane Line. This line is described as three long dashes followed by three dots repeating pattern. One point of interest is that the best thing to do is to always draw your line out on paper. Define your line lengths and space lengths. Then define said line in Revit. Ours would look as such. Very well, now that we know what our line type is going to look like, let's go ahead and go to Manage, Additional Settings, Line Patterns. As you can see, Revit comes with a preset a uh, line set of patterns, but ours is not there, so we'll go to New. Let's call this pattern a Cut Plane Pattern, starting with a dash with a 1 inch value, followed by a space with a 5 eighths inch value, followed by a dot no value needed, with a space, 5 eighths inch value, followed by a dot, that would be dot number 2, no space value needed, followed by a space that does need a value, that is two dots, we need a third dot, with a no zero value, followed by a space with a 5 eighths inch value. Now we have dash, dot, dot, dot. We need now two dashes, so we come here, dash, one inch value, space, 5 eighths inch value, then a dash with a one inch value. That's the two dashes and we'll finish off with a space and a five eighths inch value. Then we'll say okay. As you can see, there is our line. If we expand this, we can see it's three dashes followed by three dots. Great, that's just the pattern. Let's say okay to this. Come back to additional settings line styles. In line styles, we open that up. Here on the lines subheading, say new. As we said, this is a cut plain line, so we'll call it cut plain line. Say OK. Once we've created it, we then say this is the line pattern that you're going to use, which is the cut plane, the one we just created. Assign a weight to the line, if you wish. I'm going to assign a weight of 5 and say OK to that. Let's switch over to level 1 and draw one of these new lines. We'll start our line by saying line style first, defining it to be the light cut plane's lines, and we'll do it right there. As you can see, it's really easy to create basic line styles and types in Revit. Now, on our next and following video, we'll show you how to embed text into lines. It's a bit tricky and exciting. Till the next one, this has been Jim Cuervo with Digital Drafting Systems, wishing you a great day. Thank you for watching. Look forward to having you in for the next one. Thank you.